here we are back in Orlando as the Pro Bowl games 2024 continue here. And we've seen the AFC take a little bit of a lead here. So they're now up 21 to 19 over the NFC. And so as we carry on, we're about to see which side can add some more points to the board. OK, because that's what it all comes down to. All of the events that are going to come your way add up to the total score that ultimately culminates with flag football today. So, as Robert Griffin III and I are out here, we're going to get ready for moving the chains. And I believe that's what we're going to see next, okay? Our next event is Move the Chains. Players from each conference will work together to pull their wall to the finish line using a first down marker. On the ref's whistle, each team will run to the back of their wall and remove the weights off the rod. Once the team believes it has released enough weight, the players move to the opposite side of the wall, pick up the first down marker, and attempt to pull the wall towards them. So the first team to get their wall past the 10-yard line wins three points for their conference. This all matters, and these are the players you'll see on both the AFC and the NFC side. As we talk through it, there's so many of these guys that have a lot of strategy in it. I was just talking to Jermaine Johnson over here, and he said, Robert, that their strategy is going to be to pull all the weights off first. Now, the important thing to notice here is that the actual thing they got to move is right. 2,000 pounds. The weights themselves are 3,000 pounds. Correct. It makes sense, right? Pull the weights off and move the target. Exactly. I talked to Kevin Zeitler over here for the Baltimore Ravens. He was excited. He is a hard hat football kind of guy, so he can't wait to move some of this weight. But I'm wearing Sean Taylor's jersey right now because he's I the love greatest. It. Pro Bowl safety of all time. And if you're going to come out here and hit somebody, make sure you take out the punters too. So just want to pay homage to him. We miss him yeah. dearly. And that's why I want to show some my respect to him. In that. Yeah, amazing of you to do that. All right, let's get this thing started. We're going to see move the chains here. First, as both the NFC and the AFC get it going. And here we go. All right, remember, five players per conference. They must push or pull the wall 10 yards. Both sides of the wall must cross the finish line. May the best group of men win, Robert. Now, now, Laura, you remember last year, one team didn't pull all the weight off and tried to pull this 2,000-pound-plus wall across the finish line. Mm, didn't quite work out for them. So that's why you're seeing all these guys working their tails off to get this weight off. <laughs> and a reminder, those weights collectively on both of these walls, they are 3,000 pounds of <laughs> weight. It looks like they're just pulling, like, you know, a lollipop off the stick, though. And you see these guys are excited to do it because guess what? This isn't something that they do in training or in their day job. This is a childlike game for all these big fellas as you see Tristan Works coming around to grab his pylon. Yeah, he is. That means he's already ready to go and he's going to pull his pylon out. We have to, of course, see which wall moves across the line first. It's got to go completely across the line. Jermaine Johnson on the AFC side has his ready to go. Look, this AFC team's about ready to go. Is that same with the NFC. Lawrence has got his. Oh, there we, we go. go. Let's pull him. Oh, it's a pull off. Go. Look at Peyton. Go. Peyton's in there front. with him. The That's the kind of guy you want. Where the heck is Eli at? It don't matter because the NFC looks like they might got it. The NFC wins. Move the chains as they get it all the way across. That wall weighs 2,000 pounds. It didn't matter. No big deal. NFC with a big win there. Oh, wow. Guys that means here charging three each other points for the collective score for them. We'll hear from the winners in just moments. Let's see it again, though, Robert, how it all happened, okay? The wall pull is where it was won for the NFC. Here they go. I mean, yeah. they were kind Look, of in a dead it heat. It was kind of a dead heat. It just so happens that the NFC guys kept their feet moving. That extra juice right they here at the end. They extra juice. Even Peyton couldn't get the AFC rolling. Oh, oh, man. That was even a more significant win than I realized. Yeah. We were kind of over here blocked by the walls, but NFC, good job. We were Three blocked by points. the walls, right? Eli loved it. We couldn't find it, but it didn't matter because we saw him for the celebration. <laughs> he said, yeah, we added more to our score. Hey, by the way, the, the AFC... Now going to have to deal with the NFC catching up. 